Hey, everybody, welcome to the Secret Patron Show. And that's a little bit of an opening there that I don't normally use. Hey there, you amazing patrons. There we go. That's the word that I use there. Uh, this is the Utah Outcast Secret Patron Show. And welcome to Kyle and Felicia and myself and our peanut gallery. But they're going to be sh quiet most of the time. Uh, this is the special content we provide to the folks who are so generous to share at least a buck a month with us. And if you're catching this right now, it's a uh, December, uh, pff, not December. Fuck, it is what February. What the 22nd. hell, Sorry. man? That's my yeah, no, no, that was. That I was, think it's. I saw twenty second, uh -huh. and I'm thinking anniversary. Sorry, February twenty second, twenty twenty, and uh, we have a. Uh, I I think I can blame Felicia for this one. She shared this Matt Powell video with us, and oh no. Well, the only reason it gets this section is because it's ten minutes long, and we. We have more time to go over things like this. And I'm not going to stop. Every we are not going to get through the 10 minutes. We're, I'm... we're not going to. Because it's. It's Matt Powell. So it's going to be dumb. You know? he, <laughs> okay. The problem. I Okay. Just read the title. Go ahead. The Big Bang Theory. Debunked by three questions. He doesn't ask three questions. No. And he has a. It, 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 Kyle, it is every fucking argument you've ever heard from a Christian apologist, especially when they love. I have no doubt. They love to bring up the laws of thermodynamics, which they don't understand. I'm it, sorry. It if you can explain entropy, I'll listen to you. But I'm. They don't know what a they know. They have no idea what they're talking is. about. OK, it's fine because he doesn't yeah. actually get into it. He does not actually understand the science. He like has one question that he answers himself. And he answers it. Uh, the question is flawed, and he answers it badly. Uh, okay. Spoilers. Well, let's, let, yeah, let's let's let him. Let's let, let him. let's let him talk about it. But yeah, here's a uh, here's Matt Powell. We're gonna go ahead and let this play. Wait, I didn't finish the title. Sorry. Pipe, pipe. So the two straight up vertical lines. Uh, schooling Aaron Ra, godless engineer, and raging atheist. Sure, buddy. Schooling. Okay. Schooling. Guys. And I'm talking specifically to Aaron Ra, Godless Engineer and Raging Atheist. You realize he's using your name to try and bait you, right? You, you realize mm -hmm. that because you have interacted with this guy before. I want to be clear. Um, we have given him shit consistently for mm -hmm. at least 24 months. And nothing. No. No, no name titles. No, Come on, no man. Call out on one of his videos. Like, oh, those guys from Utah. Rude. Okay, so just afraid it's to rude. come after me. Nothing like that. No, nothing. No. It's rude. Honestly, it's because really dismissive. He can't use us. <laughs> we're not. Duncan. We're not helpful for him. We're not. <laughs> anyway, back to this goddamn thing. Here we go. It'd probably help if I had this turned up. Let me do that the right way this time. God damn it. I had to turn down because I brought up the video. Here, I'll so. do one of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, titties. Ooh. We're getting a little less titties. Here we go. Hey, guys, this is Matt Powell. If I was to tell you that there was a... Wait, sorry. Fuck anybody that says, hey, guys, this is the name of my channel. You know, it's like... Yeah, we're on your channel, man. We're on your channel. I know who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's okay. You can, just, you, can just say, you, can, you can just say, hi. Hey, guys. It's, it's Matt. It's Matt. You know. Or, hey, it's me. Hi. Hi is also good. Hi is a sure. perfectly acceptable yeah, one. No. Hey, guys. Or I, I always say, guys. Let guys. me tell you about this motherfucker. Great Oper. Opener. Mm -hmm. Oper? Mm -hmm. Oper. Oper what is. If I was to tell you that there was a gigantic explosion, one of the first things that you would ask me is, well, what caused it? If I responded back to you and said, well, nothing caused it, nothing caused this explosion. Then you'd be a liar. That's not the, the scientific consensus for you don't understand the concept of nothing. Right. When it comes to the astrophysics. Yeah, but no, let's, let's back up. If somebody says there was this an explosion. Is your first question going to be what caused it? Not me. What? Kind of, I'd be like, what kind? And like, that's essentially like, if you I mean, I mean, philosophically, I mean, right. Well, and uh, you know, personally, my, my first question is going to be, oh, where? In my opinion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was, was everyone what, okay? Is, yeah. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Especially when it's in your Was bedroom. anyone hurt? <laughs> Dear God, I hope not. <laughs> God being a metaphorical use here. It's not literal. Chill out. 
Yeah, you know what? We're allowed to say that. We grew up Christian. Fuck you. You would say that's crazy. No. Or you'd say that's madness. No. No. You'd say that's absolutely insane. No. 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 How about you, you big- stop I- telling us what we're going to say? Okay, so here's the thing. Is it you, you guys hear if the it, sirens? Can you hear the sirens on your end that are coming? No, I can't hear them. I did hear them when I shared it, though. Like, I was just like, geez, dude. Like, <laughs> what sketchy second <laughs> take? I don't know, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's going to be protesting the the fucking atheist convention. <gasps> yeah, he is. <gasps> oh my god! Do I, I have the cutest. I have the cutest 1950s crop top. I'm just gonna cut nipple holes out of my shirt. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's do this. Oh, 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 oh! I have short because I have because I do pole that show the bottom of my butt cheeks. Should I wear those? Oh my god, I could wear those. I'm gonna full on kiss Matt Powell. <laughs> I'm just going to kiss him. I'm going to do the Salem. That's sexual assault. Don't you no. dare get yourself in trouble with the law. I, I mean, I'm not like, I don't care about him. I'm I mean, just, look what he like, was wearing. He was asking for it. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, fuck. I have to. I hate that. I have to wait like six months for people to get that joke. I'm so, so mad. Gonna it's gonna be so gonna funny. Be I'm so excited. <sighs> you know him and fucking Steven Anderson. Oh my God, Steven Anderson's going to be there. I need to buy a taser when we get to Phoenix. Oh no, I need new jeans. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's sorry. fine. Sorry, guys, if you didn't know, we're going to the American Atheist Convention <laughs> in April. We're so very excited. We're very excited. And I know that Matt Powell and and Steven Anderson are located in Phoenix or around mm-hmm. about. I can't there, wait. So. I cannot wait. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Because I'm going to be like, they're gonna okay. be out front the oh hotel. my god, you guys, we could do our absurdist thing where he's like man on the street, and then we just do like the absurdist, like, I don't know, raccoons are unicorns now. What do you want? Like, <laughs> we can just do it. We can just do it. We can just do our practical I'm thing. just gonna go full on so Mr. Funny. Bean and just have my hand down my pants with my finger <laughs> <and> my zipper. <laughs> Like I'm gonna give you every little bit of you know we should take you seriously, Matt Powell, as you possibly fucking deserve. Absolutely. I'm gonna give him butt crack. I'm just gonna show ass crack the entire time. Oh, everything I'm bringing is going to be down to here. I swear. Oh, oh, oh it's gonna be so fun. Sorry. Back yeah, to, back to shit. Bang Fury and the atheistic perspective of it. According to them, since there is no God, nothing would have had to create everything. That's not the theory, but cool. Thanks, though. No, oh, cool. Go ahead and give us build that straw man a little bit fucking taller there, man. I think you can give it a couple more sideburns. You know, that's not the theory. Thanks, though. And so they think that nothing caused an explosion at the beginning that created order and created our universe. <sighs> no, we don't know. We don't know what caused the Big Bang. Uh, see, that's what's great about us atheists is that when we don't know, we can just be like. Eh. Yeah, no, no, no. But you know what? Here's 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 the super condensed version. It's not that nothing caused it. It's that nothing can't exist. So the fact that there was nothing caused something. That that is an actual. Essentially, that's essentially what it is. But yeah, and quantum physics is weird. I would like to bake his noodle a little bit harder and just be like, explain how quantum particles just pop into existence how about that one matt why do we have more why do we have more matter than the antimatter you know like one and then the other like a plus plus a minus should be in zero some kind of universe that we have here but we don't have it that way. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it, it, it's really quite interesting that, like, uh, the, the Big Bang Theory actually uh, asks is a least, lot of questions. It is the least interesting part of explaining where we are as we are right now. Uh, the yeah, universe expanding right? <laughs> and accelerating is really fascinating. Um, that leads to the Big Bang. But the Big Bang is not like... Um, and then they'll be all. In fact, it, it creates a lot of questions. And that's what science find people like is questions. See, we're not just going to fill in blanks with uh, that 
wizard. Um, Scott wizard did it. <laughs> that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is go, uh, okay, so we can see the evidence of this thing that there was uh, an expand, a, a rapid expansion. And he's going to get into this and it's going to be really annoying. Yeah. Uh, an explosion is a simple way to visualize it. See, it's a visual metaphor. It's not a literal explanation. It's a visual metaphor. I don't know why you, oh, I do. You're a grifter. You're a liar. Yeah. You choose to explain it badly in order to lie to people. I think our audience tends to know what they're purchasing when they buy our Patreon stuff. Is that they're getting entertainment. They're not getting a panacea to say that you're going to heaven because you believe the things that I believe kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Right. We're but not going to. But it, if it makes everybody feel better. You are going to heaven for being <laughs> patrons of Utah. Every okay. single one of you. Every single Every one there, of you. I will give it you triple your money back if we're wrong. It is a guarantee. That that's a never mind. Nobody needs to know about <laughs> it. The Church of Bob Dobbs. Nobody fucking needs to know about that. Anyway, here we go. Now that really shows that professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And that the Bible just comes back right time and time again about these people. That no, no, I don't give a fuck what your book says. I don't. No, nope. your Bible has a your book as, hasn't said anything of use. Your book has as much authority as like the collected works of Led Zeppelin as to what fucking the universe is. Like it doesn't fucking matter. It's it's something that you're into, and if you're into it, cool. Wait! Don't tell me I need to live my life according to your stupid fandom that you have. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a fandom. That is the best way to explain mm. it. Yeah. And it's the it's the boringest fucking fandom too. That it's worse than like Onision. You know. <laughs> Agreed. They claim to be very logical. If they can't even get their own creation story, uh, somewhat based in logic or science or reason. Yours isn't based in science or logic or reason. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about based in science or logic? First of all, the Big Bang is very well established. There has been mounds and mounds and mounds of evidence to back up the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. You you disproving it would be like an uh, it, it would be a phenomenon. It would be amazing. But the fact of the matter is that there is just too much evidence and I'm not a science gal. Um, okay, logic and reason, as far as logic and reason goes, there is a whole bunch of things that can be logically consistent and also false. They, like Logic isn't like this magic panacea to truth. Okay, logic is an idea, like it, it is a consistent following. Um, for instance, in the Lord of the Rings, the magic logically follows. Uh, in Game of Thrones, the magic logically follows. See, logic is not like logic is a tool. It is not like a, a, it's it's not the truth incarnate. Um, so uh, the thing is that uh, the Big Bang does actually logically follow once we look at the fucking evidence. Uh, the evident, uh, the universe is expanding and increasing in speed. Uh, that is evidence to the Big Bang. The fact that the universe it, uh, has a finite amount of elements that create it that would have been forged in the Big Bang, it all follows. I'm not a science gal. What I'm saying is that it's really easy to be convinced of the Big Bang. It's super duper easy. You don't need to be an astrophysicist to be convinced because the logic goes deep. It goes deep. But it's also so easy just to go, I, I don't know. <laughs> Instead of Or you can just say, I don't know. You certainly don't get to just justify your God, which takes enormous leaps of logic. Right. First of all, mm -hmm. Where the fuck did your God come from? Well, he was an uncaused cause, you know. That uh, doesn't make any sense. No, yeah, that's yeah. infinite regression right there. Mm -hmm. and you're, you fucked yourself already. You've already played yourself. Anyway, back to Matt. I don't know why people should put any trust or any uh, faith in what they say. And so to say that nothing exploded and created everything, that nothing caused an explosion is absolutely pathetic. 
The second problem that I have with the Big Bang Theory and that science has with the Big Bang Theory is this idea that there was nothing and then an explosion occurred and that there was something. The second thing that he has a problem with is the same as the first thing. Yeah, I was going to say that that's the same fucking thing that you just said, Matt. Yeah, he just re- yeah. repeated it. Okay, I, I didn't... still don't hear a question. I Yeah, no. No question hmm. so far. We're going to let him talk some more. Mathematically speaking and scientifically speaking, the first law of thermodynamics states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. Within a closed Closed system. system. E- e- <clears throat> Oh, it's just I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the <laughs> Earth is not a closed system. We have this giant fucking ball of gas in the middle of our solar system that's burning cur- currently. That's adding energy to our system. <laughs> that's just just solar pumping is it in. Really that's where the around. energy from our system comes from. It's from the sun. <laughs> Not a closed system, Matt. Not, not a, a closed system. <laughs> but even so if the universe were a closed system, it is still a really, really big one. Real and, big. And, and, and entropy still applies, and it isn't negated by the Big Bang. No, and In eventually, fact, it supports it. eventually, the universe will die. is going to fizzle. It's eventually yeah. going to be like... Eh, I'm done. I have no more. Yep. Oh, right, right, yep. right. And there, and there is, and there is a, a prevailing, a prevailing uh, hi- hypothesis that that is what caused the Big Bang, a universe dying out, fourth dimensional space collapsing yeah. into a third dimensional mm-hmm. space. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of possibilities that it could be. I don't. We don't care. really know. <laughs> because yeah, guess right. what? What prevalence does that have in my life? None. No, I still got to make the rent. <laughs> right. Yep. There isn't there isn't there isn't a whole lot of there isn't a whole lot to this field of study because uh one you can't study it because it's it's outside our universe. So you right. literally can't <laughs> study it. No. No because there's no such thing as studyable supernatural. I mean <laughs> Right. Right. So it is anyway. it is all it is all hypothetical. It, it's a lot of the a lot of the hypotheses are are very well supported, but they can never progress beyond that stage. Right. It's a hypothesis yeah. because there's no way that you could falsify it, nor is there any way you could prove it. Anyway, mm-hmm. Matt Hell. So it's scientifically impossible to go from nothing to something. So the first two flaws with the Big Bang theory is this idea that nothing caused the explosion. That's not the theory, yeah. Jesus. I know it's not true, and it's a, it, yeah, it's Jesus. not true, and that's not the theory. No one has assumed that there was nothing. Like, what are you like that, that? Like, I understand that the concept of death, that is the atheist concept, which is like just oblivion, which is just mm-hmm. non-existence. Well, back which, to long sleep. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, right. non-existence. Um, sure, that's terrifying and uncomfortable but that is not the scientific understanding of what caused the big bang theory like that's not the the big bang comes from like uh mm, we don't know first of all uh but there is a there's a myriad of how did the big bang happen but the fact that we could see from our own perspective that we have expanded from this point a couple of years ago to this point makes us go okay there's a linear fashion into which our universe is expanding Mm -hmm. we can point to a point where that was happening as well we can look at other galaxies within the universe and see that they also beyond the central point have expanded the opposite direction using doppler effect and Mm -hmm. many other different Mm -hmm. scientific methods to find this whole thing out so we can go huh it's almost like something expanding from a central point So therefore, we have no other reason, no other recourse, but to believe that of everything came from a central mm-hmm. expansion in our own universe. That yep. the expansion was also creating space and time. At the, I, right. 
he's not the difficult the difficult he's never to hear. gonna hear this he's not he's heard it before well, every he's not, other but he's oh yeah he's a complete grifter he knows that this is the evidence he's heard the evidence from people right. who are better at explaining it than us yeah like, we're, he, we're definitely not the people to go to for no this no, no no he's heard it he knows he's a liar he's a grifter this is a lie this show is not about to like we're not about to be like your nova we are not about to explain <laughs> the Big Bang Theory to you. Go watch a good documentary on it. Like, there's plenty. And trust me, you'll have a better understanding than Matt Powell is claiming to relate. Right. He, what he is doing is propaganda. What he is doing is grifting. He's a liar. Yep. He is running a con. If you want to know how, you know, protoculture matrixes get set up in Robotech, I'm your guy to go to for something like that. <laughs> Oh, I love, I know cheese. I know cheese really well. And also color theory. I'm really quite good at. And Kyle, what about you? What's your speciality? You know, if if you want to blank, come to me. Film criticism. I can talk about bourbon quite a bit. There you go. (laughs) There you go. We're definitely not the people to go to your fucking Big Bang Theory and astrophysics. We're not. We're not those people. And that's okay. Yeah. We're fine with that. We have a general enough understanding to go, okay, that's beyond my big think. You know, I, I'm going right. to and yet, other people. I can oh, grasp it. I can understand the underlying concepts. Right. Just because I can't debate the minutia doesn't mean that the, the science is unreal. Right. But also the, at the same the time, biggest, it also means that we get to enjoy fiction at the same time, too, because we can go, yeah, I know this is fake, but right. that's fun. <laughs> right. And the biggest I mean, difficulty... The biggest difficulty that, that you're going to have with, with uh, even talking about this is the fact that our, the language we have with which to describe any of these, these ideas is so limited I that, yeah. I, I mean, even, even the use of the word nothing is so limited and it barely I mean, the concept of zero is only, yeah. uh, what, 5,000 years old? Right. Like, I know you're, that sounds like a long take, time. Yeah. I know that sounds like a long time, but human so- his society has existed for like 15,000. So well, um, the concept of algebra, which we're like, of, when we look at things now and be like, of course, this makes sense. You, you have an, a variable that you're trying to figure out right. the solution for. That was X a very plus two equals three. Concept. That was a very fucking new concept back mm-hmm. then. <laughs> At one point, everything that we view as something that, like, we're going, yeah, that's just how things are. At one time, people were like, holy shit, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was it was revolutionary. Yeah. <sighs> we're going to give him a couple more minutes. Uh, we'll see what he can get to. And that the explosion created time, space, and matter. And so we know that matter cannot create itself. And so an outside force would have had to bring matter into existence. But why? But why? That See, the thing is that you're saying like matter can't create itself. And that's true in a closed system, I guess, um, or in our universe. In our universe, it can't create itself. Um, but like but the Big Bang is a, that matter can create itself like that. It did like that. It like that it, there was a it was a it was a compression and a rapid expansion like these things. I don't. All right, hold that thought. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Why is that more plausible? Why? But because he has a book that says the. But there's a bunch more books that back up the Big Bang theory. He's got one. We've got I don't know a bunch. Okay, so he never gets around to these three questions, and I'm only fast forwarding right now. I was like two minutes, ten seconds. Now I'm going to be at like. It, let's just start at eight minutes because he has a diatribe at the end here where he talks about atheists and their online Ooh. avatars, which is funny to me. Here we go. These people that pretend to be logical. You know, a lot of people will make fun of Christianity. And in 2020, there's a lot of people that want to attack Christians. And I think we should go to the defense of God's word boldly for the cause of Christ. Your stupid right. fucking methodology of explaining the universe has not worked for t- 2,000 plus years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm going to continue to attack it. <laughs> the Bible says that the I don't preaching care. of the cross is to them that perish foolishness 
but mm-hmm. in the us which are saved, it is the power of God. I don't care. So it's the power Dude, of God to us this was cl- it's this foolishness was... to them. And so, so, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And so oh, he- honey, we are not professing ourselves to be wise on this show. No, no. I mean, this, it, it does a, it does kind of beg the question, well, why do you care? Well, because he has to justify his place in the hierarchy. Oh, gotcha. Well, there I mean, you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a grift. Which is going to be a It's a grift. It's a grift. It's a grift. It's a grift. He wants your money. <laughs> Okay, he, here's the thing. Us three of us here, we're not trying to come at you guys and say, here, buy our fucking methodology for the way the universe works. Oh, yeah, we don't. We- <laughs> we don't right, 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 right. Like, share, if subscribe. If you have an interest, share, Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Things, you know, like, share, and yeah, subscribe. Yeah, we don't. We don't have answers to shit. <laughs> we don't have answers to your relationships. <laughs> we don't have answers to your work. Look, we I'm don't fine. have answers to anything. Uh, we have a basic understanding of <laughs> what we believe to be right and wrong, and we will fight those things to the tooth and nail. But honestly, we we're just a uh, we're just doing our best in the world. So you know, I'm just happy like to be here. I'm yeah, to be married. Like, share, and subscribe <laughs> for doing your best. <laughs> But no, we have no vetted interest in trying to sell something. This guy does. So whenever you're faced in a situation of like... This guy's literally reliant on that shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, all three of us have careers outside of doing the show, which fucking blows my mind that we still got to invite to do a fucking... <laughs> I know! I'm so excited and I can't believe it! Go to American Atheist and come to the come to the conference and hang out with us well please we'll probably let you lurk longer than you probably should it's gonna be weird <laughs> we're gonna make it weird i'll we'll get weird <laughs> uh, but this guy has a vetted interest in trying to make sure that he sells people yeah the mm-hmm. explanation for how they got he it. he is selling you, you a lie are special you are special, but also you are flawed and you are broken and you need him to teach you how to be a good person. The thing is that we believe that, like, you, you are know, unique. I mean, yeah, you're unique the for very sure. Combination of genetic material that brought you here. At genetic this material time. and life experience. Can't you be are, repeated. You are a very unique person made from elements that came from different stars. Yes. Atheism does have beautiful poetry when it comes to explaining who you are as a person. And but we're also not saying that you're fucked up. I mean, okay, never mind. We will say that you are fucked up because <laughs> nobody gets out of here alive. You know? But yeah, no, you're <laughs> fucked. You're fucked. We're all fucked. But the thing is that um, you have an opportunity now to define your meaning as you see it. And right. you have an opportunity to better yourself and the lives around you to make the world a kinder, more lovely place. Don't, don't all three of you love the fact, and this is where we're going to wrap it up here. Don't all three of you love the fact that all three of us could have some sort of medical condition that kills us within the next five years or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just randomly thing, kind of thing like that. If YouTube happens to continue on and continue mm-hmm. on, this is going to be part of an archive. Of something in the future where we say, these three people existed. These three people did this. You know, there's going to be some graduate student in 200, 300 years from now that is going to trip across the fact that we have this channel that had 3,000, sorry, 3,000 videos out there. And they're going to go. More subscribers than that. But yeah. the fuck are these people? What? Why didn't these? Like, these? this is a good you know, snapshot of the people that existed at this time, because we're not trying to bullshit you. We're not trying to sell you on who you are or who you should be. Like we are honestly as most, as mostly human as we could possibly be. We might try to convince you of some ideas, but that's an honest thing to try to convince you of an idea. See, we're not lying to you. We're not trying to manipulate you. you. Right. So don't listen to Matt Powell. He, He's a liar and he's a grifter. He, he has a reason to make this stuff out there besides the fact of I like to do it. He doesn't mm-hmm. like he. 
I can't speak on whether he likes to do it or not. He probably does like to do it, but he feels like he has to at this point. I could stop next week and be good, but I'm not going to because uh, I, <laughs> I enjoy doing this. More than anything, I like talking to you guys. Yep, absolutely. So thanks for coming, everybody. We'll catch you next week with another patron show. We'll be, we'll see you then. Have a good week.